Hi everyone, it's Pat here from the website so freeairboss.com. Um, a big hello from the hostel I'm staying in. Uh, well, at the moment it's like my house because I'm the only person here at the moment. But there is one dog and two cats. And uh, there's one cat there under the chair asleep. And I actually haven't seen that cat awake yet in all the time I've been here. So, uh, who said it's a dog's life, it's a cat's life really. So just a quick intro today, um, this morning I went to a place called Chan Chan. It's in uh, north of Peru. It's just like about four or five kilometers from where I'm staying here in Juan Chaco. And um, I took a look at it, I love history, so it was amazing. It's like, uh, I think they call it like uh, uh, a board, um, the, the construction. It looked to me like it was just built from sand and the materials around there like in a, a desert kind of location near the sea. Um, it uh, was built around 900 AD until about late 1400s uh, when the um, Timor people were uh, defeated by the um, Incas. And then uh, after that, then the Spanish came. And of course, like there was a lot of gold and the Spanish loved their gold. So they took all that. So I was really amazed how uh, so much of it was still intact um, because like it suffered a lot because of like the El Nino, um, El Nino uh, kind of like weather pattern that happens every couple of years in this area. And uh, of course, like there was a lot of looting and it's, near the coast and everything, so there's a lot of sand blowing as well. So it was really amazing to see um, uh, what was there. So I just took a quick video when I was there. So um, I hope you enjoy because I really enjoyed it. So just check it out. Hi, it's Pat here from the website SoftwareBuzz.com. Uh, today I'm just taking a side trip from where I'm staying in the seaside resort here in Peru, in northern Peru, uh, Juan Chaco. And, um, I've just come up there's like I don't really like the resort town it's it's a bit boring but uh, just like maybe 10 minutes ride in a, a taxi or a collective or there's like the ruins of Chan Chan I love history and it's just amazing I'm like they built a city here and um, basically with the, the materials in the earth here and it's like um, it's just amazing. Uh, it's like, uh, and it's so quiet. Um, I think like most people go to Peru, they go down to the south and very few people uh, go to the north, you know. Um, but this is absolutely amazing. It's a city uh, in the desert and it was built like hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years ago. And it's well worth seeing. <laughs> I'm like, I actually feel I haven't come across anyone uh, yet, you know, and uh, look at that, look at that. I think they call the construction a board, um, but like there was a serious uh, civilization here and just 20 kilometers from here, there's like uh, another civilization um, called the matcha that they used to have kind of pyramids and they used to do human sacrifices so as much as I don't raise uh, one Jacko as a, a resort area it's got two outstanding areas of uh, historic value well worth I haven't been down the south yet but like if it's anything like this and look at that Look at that, that's amazing. I just came in the entrance. I was uh, looking to pay someone and there was no one there. So I just, uh, so it was free for me anyway. So I've just climbed up another bit. Look at that, look at the view there. Isn't that amazing how that has stood the test of time? And obviously the main city was in there. How come there's not uh, more tourists there? But look at that. I like this is one of the main reasons I've come to Peru to see this kind of stuff. I'm so excited, I like a child. 
me in this hat walking down a kind of lame way like this doesn't get any more Indiana Jones than this. I'm sorry. Look at that. I think I'm the only person in the sight of it. It's just amazing what they could do all those hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years ago. And like there is, uh, as I said, there's another site called uh, the Mocha, just about 20 kilometers away. But um, this would be my favorite. Uh, the Mocha had temples, but this is totally different. I'm just amazed how much of this has survived. And there's more, I'm gonna check it out. So uh, I'll just continue um, my walk around Chan Chan. It is amazing just to see what people were able to do. Hundreds, hundreds more than a thousand uh, years ago, you know, it's just amazing. Um, I saw very few tourists there. Yeah, I think that's because most tourists actually go south, you know. Um, but this is well worth the scene. It's kind of like on my trip of uh, South America. It's my first kind of wow moment, you know. Look at that. But it's amazing what people were able to achieve all those years ago. Because um, I'll be honest, uh, just outside here in the entrance where people are living now, doesn't look great. Um, like it's really run down. Um, so you kind of think like uh, more than a thousand years or so later, you know, uh, after what these people, like a brilliant, brilliant uh, 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 old uh, Peruvian society, what they were able to achieve. And then you kind of look outside now and say, have things improved in this area? And you'd have to say, that looks better than what's out there, you know? So that's, I always find that really curious, how like you had such brilliant societies, thousands of years ago and then you move on and a lot of these uh, countries uh, have been kind of uh, pushed on you know um, but it's really I just find that curious as a historical thing I'm not saying anything about uh, Peru because there, there's some really nice parts of new Peru as well you know but uh, I'm just making the point that look what was here in kind of like ancient times and you know, it's a million times better than what uh, is outside the gate, you know. Um, so definitely, definitely I would, if you're in northern Peru, uh, come here, you know. Uh, I'll be gone in a few minutes so you can have a day because I think I, I haven't seen anyone else here. You know, it's absolutely amazing. And... Um, Maybe there's a charge to come in here, I don't know, but I just came in the gate and there was no one there. I'd be quite happy to pay money to see this, you know. Uh, so that's the ruins of Chan Chan. Um, check it out, well worth seeing. Very happy I, I came here today. Uh, Sophiaurabus.com, check out my blogs, they're brilliant.